If you've never felt bad for a punter before, that, that that's gonna change today, I promise you. Because we're taking a look at the commanders who have probably had the most beloved punter in the NFL to the general population, which is Tress Way, and he's attempted to enjoy his 10th season in the NFL, but there has been a very, very bad trend of late, and I've covered it in parts before, but holy hell, it has only gotten worse and it hasn't gone away, and it's the commander's horrendous special teams play. It started out three weeks ago, Longstepper was doing his best bowling impression, rolls it back to our poor man Tress, who's forced to fall on it and gets a pretty nasty hit, which is no bueno, and it also sets him up for a score against the Rams, who would, you know, only win by exactly eight points. But, call Cheeseman a soda pop because he got canned for this play, but that wouldn't stop the special team's blunders against the Jets, where they would completely blow an assignment on this block, leading to a player coming down the middle scot-free, and takes it off his foot easier than candy out of a baby's hand. So let's, let's go ahead and take you to this week, where the commanders are playing for pride i guess and the firing of the head coach which is almost inevitable at this point but you know what when they line up to take another what should be just routine punt and the cowboys only rush three to one side and one guy's just spite blocking the long snapper so it's really only two guys okay to the commander's three blockers and we get this comedic effect where the cowboys number 89 and the commander's number 47 sort of dodge each other like there was somehow some confusion on who the rusher and who the blocker was and if you're wondering the blocker was definitely number 47 but 89 goes from one who was supposed to be blocked to the one who was blocking a punt very, very quickly as after getting missed, he just kind of goes, oh, okay, guess I'll block the punt. Leopard hops and takes it off of Tress's foot for the second block punt of the year on just a completely blown assignment. And I know the special teams coach is probably fired with the rest of the staff, but if he's not, then he definitely will be after these past three weeks. And if he was, then you should rehire him and then refire him. So if that doesn't have you feeling bad for a punter, I don't know what will. Sorry about that, Tress.